I'm Atuba George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, before we continue on today's broadcast, can we make demand for our daily bread? Are you ready? Say this with me. Say, Father, I demand right now my daily bread. It's coming to me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. So I was sharing with you yesterday and this is this is very important. The, the way God designed man is that man should live by every word that proceeds from his mouth. Now, this is what brings accuracy in every operation of man. Now, hey, and I'll tell you something. I'm going to share something with you today. The truth of this is, sometimes when we begin to say some things like, God help us, praise God. Because, because there are times, remember the Bible said, the just shall live by his own faith. And his own faith means the things the Holy Spirit has taught him. That is what he is going to live by. So we don't live by faith, general faith. No, each of us live by the things the Holy Spirit have taught us. This is the truth. And if you've not, if you've not got into that point where you know that the Holy Spirit is your teacher, then you still have a long way to go. And there is no special thing. It's not all oh, because you're a minister. No, sir. Every one of us, we are all called into this. When Jesus was giving the Holy Spirit, he didn't say the Holy Spirit is for ministers alone. But Jesus said he will teach you all things. Who is he going to teach all things? Every one of us. So this is how this came about. I told you from the beginning. Because I like when I teach, I, I love to give the history of things. So it will help you understand why things are so. Now. I said from the beginning, God planned that man should live by every word that proceeds. Take note, present continuous, not past tense. Not God told me last week, God told me two years ago, God told me then, you know, you will live, you will survive by every word that is proceeding now, now from the mouth of God. Now, this is the reason. When God made Lucifer, now, it's important you know that Adam and Eve or Adam was not the first man that existed on earth. See, there was a man that existed on earth before Adam, but he was not in the image and likeness of God. And he was not the focus of God's creation. See that they were, mere, they were more like um, servants to the beings that were ruling the earth at that time. And the beings ruling the earth at that time were uh, the ones to whom Lucifer was in charge. Lucifer was the head. He was the leader. He was the one God put in charge of the earth. And then he was ruling over men. But these men were not in the image and likeness of God. Okay? So, now, Lucifer in charge now there were cities there was life then there were cities there were animals everything existed the earth was being run see so lucifer was in charge and this this was what began to happen and i, I think i've explained this thing in one, some other broadcast lucifer began to take decisions by himself without referring to god or without checking them out with God. Lucifer began to do things his own way. And in doing that, he began to lead the earth away from God. Now, it did, I, want you to, I, want to, I want you to understand something. It didn't start deliberately like, I'm going to do this. No. It started by, he started by saying to himself, I can handle this. I can handle this. 
he began to make mistakes and he began to make mistakes and then he kept trusting in, in his own wisdom that his wisdom will bring him out his wisdom will correct these things but the more he depended on his own wisdom the farther he went away from the lord he kept going away from the lord he kept going away from the lord and then the next thing he began to think that look uh, no matter how far i've gone going back to submit to god now uh -uh -uh. now that's when pride came up from him you see that then instead of going to submit to god now this same sometimes you know you need to critically look at yourself and 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 you know i i used to ask people you know and say ah me how can how you know how some people talk so how can imagine what adam and Eve did can you imagine what if they had just disciplined how would see they are the ones that have caused all this trouble if they had just behaved themselves so I asked them, are you, do you think you're better than Adam? Of course, I can't make that kind of mistake. God have told me not to eat of this shit. So I asked, have you ever eaten your tithes? Mm, and it's, not, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's, good. it's the same thing. That was the tithes. You see, that's the principle of the tithes. You can eat all of this, but this one is the same thing. It's normal, nothing special about it. But God just says, This one, don't eat it. God said, Look, you can eat all your money, but this one, it tends. Keep it for me. How many times have you eaten it? And then I say, Adam, they, they were just used it. I can how could they have? Uh -uh. It's the same thing. So, Lucifer, the same thing you do today, you are doing some, you made a mistake. Instead of you to go confess and say, Look, you know what? I, I, I've, I've done this blunder. Please, I need help. He said, no, 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 no. Um, you keep quiet about it and you keep trying to cover up and cover up and cover up. And all this, all this while Lucifer was doing is God was watching and wondering, what's this guy up to? What's this guy up to? I told you yesterday, God will allow you manifest yourself before he will judge you. Even when God judges, read the scriptures, he will say, look, what are you doing? He always wants an explanation from you before he takes a decision. Cain, where is your brother? I say, how come God didn't just look and say, this guy has killed his brother. Ah, let me deal with him. No, where is your brother? See, God wanted to know what's, what's going through your mind. And truly, God was looking for something, a good reason. <laughs> yeah, he was looking for a good reason. Oh, you don't understand when God says, come, let us reason together. You don't know what that means. So Lucifer began to do all these things by himself. And then was going further and further away from God. Then, eventually, pride came in. Now, when pride came in, he began to turn every other being against God. To himself he was turning them away from seek the attention from god to himself more like you know when you start now you've done so many wrong you start looking for pity party and it, it's just that god's ways are too hard god's ways are too high I said, come on why don't you just apologize to god and no it's not it's not like i don't apologize to him oh. but you see his demands are too heavy his demands are too strong have you ever found yourself, maybe you're a woman, you, you've done something wrong. Why don't you think, ah, no, eh, my husband is going to finish me. Ah, my husband is going to kill, oh, 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 my dad, you don't remember. Tell your dad what has happened. Hey, hey, no way. Ah, you want him to kill me? So what are you going to do? I don't know, I'll figure it out. You see that problem, that thing you just said, I'll figure it out. That is your problem. Because you never figured it out. And eventually it blew up on your face. And that's exactly what Lucifer did. Until it blew up on his face. And then he, God had to set a government to judge Lucifer. See that now? He couldn't destroy him. Because Lucifer has eternal life. I've told you that before. Alright, now. God had experienced this with Lucifer. 
So in his dealing with man now that he created, he decided that this is what is going to happen. Man is going to live by every word that is proceeding from my mouth. That means the day man disconnects himself from the word coming out from the mouth of God, it is obvious that moment the line is drawn. You see that now? The line is drawn. So man is not going to go on and go on. No, God is not going to go on bearing with man like, oh, I don't know. The moment you stop receiving words from him, the line is drawn. You see that now? And then from that moment, that's what happened to Adam and Eve. Where are you? We hid ourselves because we're naked. God told you you're naked. Now, the problem God had with Adam and Eve was not just that they ate the fruit. It was because his word, his word was not their ultimate thing again. They have choose, chosen to listen to the devil. Yes, they have chosen to listen to the devil. So right now, anything God tells them, they want to hear the devil's side so they can compare. Now, that's the reason God drove them out of the garden. Because you see, his plan was them to keep the garden and dress it. How were they going to keep the garden and dress it? They were meant to keep it by the wisdom of God. They were meant to dress it by the word of God. So they are supposed to be receiving words from God on a daily basis concerning the work they were doing. And that is exactly how they will continue to live. Now, when they got to that point where they began to mix their faith with the words of the devil, has God said, now they knew God had said, see that now? They knew what God had said. They understood what God had said. Now, Lucifer came and began to, uh, has God said, and then he began to give them another understanding and they were buying into it. You see, now that was where the problem began. And so God looked at it and said, you can't, you can't rule over this garden like this. So you know what? I'll send you out of the garden. That's why God drove them out of the garden. Now the moment they were sent out of the garden, what happened to them? They were disconnected from that daily receiving of the word of God. That was when death set in. See that? They began to die from that day. Now, picture this. They have spent all the days they lived before that time only living by the word of God. No other word. See that? Now, now it, they still lived 900 and something years before physical death could hit them. Everyone. 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 Everyone, can you receive this? Anyway, hold on with that. I'm going to introduce this. Up. Mm. So today, the design of man is to live only. Now when I say only, I mean words coming out of the mouth of God. I'm not saying don't eat physical food no man eats physical food but this is the most important food this is the most important ingredient for his livelihood what is that every word that is coming out of the mouth of god god gives you wisdom for today god gives you wisdom for every situation you find yourself in a situation you want to make a decision. What is the Lord saying to you? What is the Spirit of God saying to you? Now, sometimes, even as preachers, we have, we have made this mistake of trying to pull people back from receiving words from the mouth of God. So we go, uh, we, uh, sometimes you study the scriptures to know what God is saying. You study the scriptures to know the character of God. But to know what God is saying, you have to listen to him. Let's not be afraid to tell people the truth. God speaks. He desires to speak to you. It, see, if this is what is going to give you life, why do you think he will hold it from you? 
God is always speaking. And this is how man must live. Whether you're born again or you're not born again, this is how you must live by every word that is coming out of the mouth of God. I'll tell you what this does. First and foremost, it differentiates the beings on the earth. You've heard me say this before. It's not everybody on the face of the earth that is a creation of God. Oh yes. Whether you like it or not, whether you, you, you are okay with this message or not, hear me. You will get to find out one day, eventually. Everybody on the face of this earth is not a creation of God. There are those who are not human beings like you. They are they, nothing special about them. They look exactly like human, like every other human being. But here's the problem. They are not... They are not the creation of God. So the seed of God is not in them. This is the reason Jesus specifically mentioned and said, My sheep hear my voice. Now Jesus was speaking one time. John chapter 8, verse 43. Jesus was speaking here. He said, hmm. Why do you not understand my speech? John 8, 43. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to hear my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the desire of your father you want to do. For he is a murderer from the beginning and does not, does not stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources. For he is a liar and the father of it. You see that? Now Jesus was speaking to some Jewish people. And then he said, hey, you guys, why don't you understand my speech? He said, because you cannot hear my word. You cannot hear my word. Why can't they hear his word? He told them plainly, say, because you are of your father, the devil, and his works you will do. So Jesus in his day was addressing these men and he boldly called them children of the devil. You remember John the Baptist said the same thing. You brood of vipers, children of snakes. Now, Jesus even called them, praise God. He said, you are of your father the devil. Why would Jesus mention this about people? Because that's the truth. So when Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, that's very instructive. If you are his sheep, how you know yourself is your ability to hear his voice. This is the reason everyone must pay attention to hearing the voice of God. If not, you risk being called the child of the devil. Is as simple as that. I pray the Spirit of God will give you understanding to this. We're going to still go deeper in this tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.